When we thought the worst was over, we ventured out. So we lived in here a year or two without any ceiling, and, and we had no central heat, and we had a concrete floor. I mean, it was really important that we not ever owe a penny on the house. But when he decided that uh, it would be wise to build a fallout shelter, he went and borrowed money and mortgaged the house. And I found the old mortgage today. Over everything, up through the wreckage of the city, in gutters, along the river banks, tangled amongst tiles in the tin roofing, climbing on charred tree trunks, was a blanket of fresh, vivid, lush, optimistic green. The verdancy rose even from the foundations of ruined houses. But I was working with some ladies and they were going out partying. Might as well die there, you know, that it was all kind of emotion. But now Anne Dolphin told me. We all received these invitations to go to this party. The light at the club was really violent, but looking back now, I'm really glad we went. And then one day, uh, the president came on the radio and said he wished every family had a fallout shelter. And when he got all the guns out of the hands of the people, things changed. Battling the vegetation, we made our way to safety, clinging to the vines like Jack and the Beanstalk, and finally, at dawn break, we came upon a mound. Could that be it? The only indication that it was a human-constructed edifice was the air vent at the top. And with much effort, we finally found the entrance. I've got 10, 12-year-old grandchildren that's never been down and seen inside. And Abby said, and we threw bricks at the door trying to get in. Why was the door locked? Had they lied? Things weren't stable, and people were worried, and people were getting really nervous. And uh, that thing was closer to being disaster than most of us realized. He borrowed this money and started building the shelter. And there are a lot more of built than most people know, but most people could hide them. I remember tearing, getting sheets and making, tearing them and making bandages, you know, making them more bandages, sterilizing the material in the oven, putting them in jugs. You know, you just expected casualties and all, you know, but uh, it was more like uh, 10 by seven, something like that. And inside, uh, it was poured concrete about so thick, about a foot thick, solid concrete. Well, we had electricity down there, of course, but you know, you, you didn't know when it was gonna be knocked out. And, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> but if it's just radiation, well, anyway, I don't, can't tell you just when uh, we decided it didn't need it. Now, I know once during a hurricane, uh, we went down. Like last night, you know, they kept warning us we right. might have one, and uh, everybody was getting prepared to survive or help survivors as best mm -hmm. they could. They kept warning us for hours that there was... Uh... So I was sitting here last night with all these memories and afraid to go to bed, and then nothing happened. But that's the type of thing I'm saying. You get fearful, and then if it ends good, great. The scientists noticed that the flash of the bomb had discolored concrete to a light reddish tint, had scaled off the surface of granite, and had scorched certain other types of building material, and had in some places left prints of the shadows that had been cast by its light. Even a few vague human silhouettes were found, 
and by triangulating these and other such shadows with the objects that formed them, the scientists determined that the exact center was a spot not far from here. Someone had come into the room where he was sleeping, reached up to the hanging light bulb, and switched it on. The sudden flood of light brought him leaping out of bed. And it was so horrible that I just burst out crying right there in the theater, and it embarrassed my husband to death. Skin came. Petitions, research, warnings, it was all in vain, and who in the world was writing all that malicious software? We consigned ourselves voluntarily to a dark retreat. But they showed you things there that I guess you needed to know. And lived every day like there was no tomorrow, not seeing that the future was already here. But I was working with some ladies and they were going out partying. Might as well die there, you know, that it was all kind of emotion. But now Anne Dolphin told me, so people, you know, made their choices, some built and most didn't. And how dare you build a shelter that won't hold the whole neighborhood? Mm -hmm. That was kind of the way that you make these decisions on, based on what you're being told at the moment and try to protect your family as mm -hmm. best you can. In the dark retreat, we lost all track of time. In a former experiment in a nuclear bunker, one subject's memory capacity fell 36%. Is the past passive? But why forget we had such a nice intense a nice talk intense about the things I was trying to forget. Trying, and and everyone still forget. knows what is to and be everyone done. Everyone still knows what is to be done. The death of nature is the death of culture too.